The HendrickCars.com pace car makes its way to pit road, and the Egg Helm 100 for the Pro Late Model season is underway. This racetrack with a reputation of being bottom lane preferred, that appears to be the case as they come down the front straightaway. And it's Tyler Tanner leading lap one. Third place starter, Honeycutt trying to follow him through for second. Chris Wright falls back to third. You can finally see Chris Wright's able to find some solace and be clear as we have one car stopped at the top end of turns one and two. is slowly idling down to the bottom of turn two. That is Jeff Batten so far. We keep it green as he spun out, but kept that car rolling to keep us in under green flag conditions. As we see there, Chris Wright also trying to keep pace with him, but Honeycutt is trying to pick up right where he left off as he goes for oh. lead in contact. Tanner sideways, Honeycutt and Tanner tangle, and what a save as Tanner got straightened out by the front nose of the 51. A great save there, and we do indeed stay green <laughs> as Honeycutt made a move down to the inside. And Chris Wright, I mean, kind of shades of what Brett Suggs was able to do last year, goes down on the apron, and that is the first pass we'll see for the lead this season off the racing surface where there's weepers and puddles everywhere. More contact there, Spencer Davis in the white 29 into the back of Jimmy Renfrew, and unfortunately for that of Tanner, he may have a tire rub on that left rear tire. We saw it smoking pretty heavily on the exit of turn two. Check that. That's the left front yeah. tire that is rubbing on the pole sitter's car. It was quite the move, as you mentioned, Blake, for Wright to be able to find a way through and looking for an opportunity. So we got trouble off turn four. One car has spun off the fourth corner. And as Wright comes to the yellow, Blake, as we get set to get this race back underway, the HendrickCars.com pace car heads to pit road through the Death Wish Coffee restart zone. They come, and again, it is Chris Wright who was elected the bottom. New challenger, Cade in Honeycutt to the outside in the 51, looking for the lead. Campbell trying to fill the hole on the bottom. Chris Wright will go clear to the lead. Kyle Campbell, after electing to restart behind the 20 car of Wright, is going to move back up in a second. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. in a double zero, trying to push Honeycutt back to fourth, and he's got the pass made out of four. I uh, just cleared him, but was able to get the job done, and Renfrew just slowly biding his time right now and sitting in the third spot for Honeycutt. It ended up being a net loss of just one position. To in which the leaders have to go by. Then it's the Wake County winner and Logan Jones. You see the cars at the head of the race leader nearly side by side. Campbell looks low. Contact there. And Wright is able to stabilize the car and protect the lead. Campbell able to get back to the throttle though sooner. Side by side, they'll go down into turns three and four. Wright is not gonna put up much of a fight. He'll cross down in front of his Alliance teammate, I guess you could call it. And Kyle Campbell, lap 67, goes to the point here at Southern National. Now, what can he do with the traffic up ahead? Ironically, the car in which he chased to the finish line at Wake County is Campbell as Lopez gets shoved aside right in front of the race leader. Campbell has to go high. They're three wide with the leader in the middle. Heads up driving there from Lopez and heads up driving for Campbell. He was aggressive. He tried to push the issue. They're going to be three wide behind with Logan Jones and Wright slides up the racetrack and he saves it. But Jimmy Renfrew Jr. up into second as a result. What a remarkable save by Chris Wright after getting tagged while trying to navigate his way through the tail end of the field. And that gives Kyle Campbell the biggest lead we have seen anybody have all day long. 70 laps complete. Next potential caution could be 10 laps away. This dot com pace car makes its way to pit road into the Death Wish Coffee restart zone. Honeycutt edges ahead at the line. Honeycutt dives to the bottom and we'll see if that start stands. Got a great jump, no doubt. The question was, was it a little bit of an early jump for the 51 of Honeycutt? Is now he receives a shot from Campbell. Campbell to the bottom, Honeycutt up the racetrack. He slides off. And once again, Kyle Campbell will lead the field back to turn two. Start stands, not going to matter. Campbell back out in front. Now Renfrew Jr. and Honeycutt were side by side. Honeycutt quick to cut to the bottom and chop off Chris right there to stop his progress from moving to the inside line as Tristan McKee tries to get up into the top four for the first time today in that six car. And I got to give credit to Kyle Campbell right there. There is the lead Quapel has. Check that Campbell has. As oh. now McKee and Wright, a second glove save and a beauty for the 20. 
He's had a couple of those tonight. Is oh, we're going to look three wide almost into turn three. Quapple backs out of it, thinks better of it. Well, again, we'll try to get his CorvetteParts.net Chevrolet just a little bit further up the road into one, able to get clear of Chris Wright, who, as you mentioned, has had some brilliant saves out here this afternoon. Spencer Davis in the 29 now into the back of the 20. And now Wright, another magnificent <laughs> save. And now Nick Loden gets checked up on the front stretch with Hopkins trying to find a way by. And I got to tell you what, that is Mike Hopkins right there. He's headed home, white flag, one more lap to go at Southern National. We touched on the fact this is a new car to the team. Got a new power plant for an opportunity such as this. Former Allison Legacy Series champion, former Carolina Pro winner, but the biggest win of his life is going to come here today. Kyle Campbell wins his first ever Cars Tour Pro Late Model Race.